What's going on guys? Stein back with another video and in today's video I will be talking about how to take care of yourself. Most people do not know how to take care of them, themselves. If you look, if you go to the grocery store, any random grocery store, it does not matter what grocery store it is. If you go to a grocery store, you look at the people shopping in the grocery store, you, you see the items in their grocery carts. You see that people really just don't care about like their health, their vitality, their energy, or any of that because you can see the items that they're eating, that they're consuming, putting in their mouth, all because it tastes good over eating things that actually will generate, you know, by, like I said, vitality and energy for your body for and for your life. Because if you go through the shopping carts of all these people, it's just garbage. Just all of it is garbage, like literally all of it. I mean, you may have one or two things that are okay, but like, I would say 90% of the things in people's carts are just garbage, and that's just the truth. And, you know, if you don't believe it, go to a grocery store and just look at it yourself. Like, this is something we need to, we need to change. Like, we need to get rid of all this garbage junk food. It, it does nothing for you. It doesn't help you at all. It's not making your life any better. It's not improving you. So you need to get rid of all the junk food. <clears throat> you know, and do it slowly but surely, like... You know, for me especially, like I used to, you know, I used to have, you know, I used to j eat junk food every once in a while, so and so, whatever. Now I never have any have any cheat meals, any junk food or whatever. But every once in a while, I used to have like once one every once in a while. I slowly just like built myself, you know, once a week I let myself cheat, and I was like, okay, once every month, and it was like once every three months, and now it's just like completely empty completely gone i never have any cheat meals it's not even discipline anymore just because i'm in this i'm in the sole habit of just eating for energy vitality like i said and not eating for taste everyone always eats for taste never eat food for taste eat, eat for energy eat for vitality eat for some food that actually is going to benefit your life and not just eating any food that looks good because you think it's going to taste good or any of that sort you need to actually eat food that'll provide your body with energy, provide your body with nutrients that allow you to actually live your your life and and the rest of your day with energy because you know energy is the most important thing on planet Earth. You need energy for everything, and this is why sleep is important. You need energy, you know, to work. You need energy to work out. You need energy to hang out with kids if you have any kids. You need energy to spend time with your family. You need energy to, you know, let's say you want to go out and go to the zoo or something. You need energy to walk. Energy is everything. And the way you get that is by eating right, taking care of your body, never having any cheat meals. Slowly build up to this. It's easy for me to say because I've been doing it for so long. But for those of you who just haven't been, you know, you cheat on your diet every once in a while. You need to stay disciplined. You, just, you need to allow yourself, like, one day of the week you can cheat. If you have to do that, if you have to do it, like I said, if you have to do that, at the very least, you don't have to do that, and you're a beast, then just eat the food that's going to provide you energy all the time, 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 25-8, instead of 24-7, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where that's how you take care of yourself. And that's just one simple step because like if you do that, that one simple step there, everything else is gonna fall in line. Okay, now your skin's gonna get better. Okay, now you're gonna drink a bunch more water. Okay, well that's already happened. Now you're gonna groom yourself better. You're going to, you're gonna shave. You're going to line up your beard. You're gonna get a haircut. Like all these things are gonna line up. You're gonna take care of yourself. Because you know, taking care of yourself is really about, you know, it's the large majority of it is looks. Because if you look at a fat person, you can tell you they don't care. They don't take care of themselves. They put good junk in their body. They sit on the couch. They're they're not taking care of themselves. So you look at someone who takes care of themselves. Most of the time, their body's in order. I would say ten times out of ten, their body's in order. And their money's most likely in order, and then their relationships is in order. That's how you take care of yourself. You prioritize the important things in life, which is your health and your wealth. If you don't have either of those in order, your life's going to be a disaster. But those are, and that's just that's just one simple step that, that leads on to more things that take care of themselves over and over again. But I just wanted to make that quick video for you today because you know a lot of people don't don't 
don't even have this discipline of just, you know, taking care of yourself by eating the right foods and drinking a lot of water and sleeping and things like this that are just so simple. And you just look around, you look at the world, you look at the people you're around, it's like, you're not doing this, how are you not doing this? Simple, simple and easy, and anyone can do it. That's the video I have for you today. If you like the video, like the video, comment in the comment section, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and we'll see you in the next video.